Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So it's been a while since I've used a teleprompter and one of the reasons I've been doing a lot of these video blogs and putting them up onto YouTube in quite close succession is, I've mentioned this, I'm trying to get better at video blogging, I'm trying to get better at learning, especially OBS Studio, uh, which is the tool that I've been using to record these on. And I love OBS, there's just like so much to unpack every day, no exaggeration, I'm learning like one or two things um, in OBS, I'm either figuring something out or I'm trying to figure something out and finding videos on YouTube or on the OBS forums and then learning it. And if it's something that hasn't been documented, um, especially because I'm using OBS on Ubuntu, I'll do my, record my own YouTube video just so that anybody else can find out and therefore the, the circle of uh, YouTubing continues. So uh, what I want to do today is show you guys a teleprompter. If you're using Ubuntu, there is a teleprompter. Um, I I've only checked out this one. It's been a while since I've used, as I mentioned, a teleprompter. So I do remember trying a few years ago, uh, but this looks to me like there's one dominant one right now. So a teleprompter, you can also use like a hardware teleprompter. Um, if you've seen videos of like the president giving a speech or a TV crews, um, an anchor, you, you know what I'm talking about. They typically have like a monitor hood um, and you can use like an iPad or a tablet and like beam it up. So those are, those are good, but if you have a multiple screen setup, um, why not just use your screen and have it on your computer? Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Now, one thing I would say is just if you're using it in OBS, to state the obvious, but nevertheless to state it, um, you probably don't wanna be showing your teleprompter in your screencast. So if, you're, if, if I was doing, let's say, I'm showing this screen here, what I could do is have like my, OBS, I've shown a few times my, the setup I'm using to record these videos is kind of a three screen setup. And what I could do would be to uh, do a screencast here on the left screen, center screen, I could divvy up uh, between my uh, OBS and the teleprompter. That's if you've got two screens, or if you've got three screens, you could have your OBS control on one screen, teleprompter second screen, and third screen being the screen you're recording so you can interact with it. Obviously, your teleprompter, you ideally want to have very close to where you're looking into the webcam or looking just uh, just, just almost into the webcam. So um, teleprompters, 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 imaginary teleprompter. Uh, let me now go into it. So um, when I was looking for it, so yeah, I came across imaginary teleprompter and uh, you can just click on the install. Now, needless to say, I'm not using a teleprompter for this video, but if I were doing something like recording a video resume, which I'm thinking about doing, that's when a teleprompter would come into its own. You wanna get that like down and exa say exactly what you want to say, etc. So click on the install button here and you'll just jump down to the command for Snap. Now, the only negative thing I have to say about this teleprompter is that um, it didn't create a menu entry. Now I'm using LXDE, which is already considered like very old school. Um, and I've had, this, I've had this problem with a lot of Snap packages that they're not creating menu entries and uh, therefore I've had to like manually create them. And to be honest, a lot of times I just don't bother. Uh, so I couldn't find it in anywhere here. I looked in the obvious places. I mean, I'd probably expect it to be under video, given that it's a video tool, it's not there. Um, what's it called again? Imaginary. It's not under video, it's not under graphics. Uh, so yeah, I, it didn't create one for me, so that's just a little bit of an inconvenience. So what you can do instead is just uh, tab out. So if you forget, what's that teleprompter thing called again? Imaginary, or you can remember like half of the word, you can just type it like that and uh, tab out the rest. So uh, here is the teleprompter. And um, let me just kind of show you guys how this thing works. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but um, nevertheless, so there's the only thing I really don't like about this, I would say is that the settings, the settings panel is kind of limited. Like you can click on settings and it just like undocks here. What I would have liked is uh, some easier to tell where you're saving it to. So you can import files from, so you can write your script in LibreOffice or even in a notepad and just like bring it in or you can uh, delete it. Now, I guess I guess what I would like to see is what is the save directory? Like where 
where are these random scripts being saved exactly? So I, I'm able to delete them, I'm able to add them, but like what directory am I working in here? That would be useful. Um, quite cleverly, they do have the instructions. This was, this is a good idea, I thought. They have their instructions as a file that's like on the teleprompter. Uh, so you can control the speed and text size with up and down arrow keys. That's usually the way I use it. Uh, you can press spacebar to pause at any time. Um, and that's the majority of what I would require in a teleprompter. There is one cool feature, which is the uh, timer functionality. You can set a timer, which is nice. Tweak the speed, acceleration curve, and font size. Uh, and you can add images as well. So you can go through this whole, uh, whole thing, which is they have everything kind of explained over here. All data is managed locally. We retain no user, we retain no user data. Um, I'm still trying to see, does it say where the files are stored? In any event, wherever they're being stored, to create a new script for yourself is easy, even within this. So you can create them in, uh, you can create them in a word processor, or you can click like new page here, and then you can like save your script and give it a name, uh, etc. So I'm just gonna do a demo script here, um, instructions, files, and I'm going to <clears throat> call this like test scripts. And let me just create a quick script. Hi, this is Daniel. Rather than randomly thinking of what to say, I've decided to start using a teleprompter. Teleprompters are great. And what's even, even greater is that even us Linux, people don't know the word boffin, I've been told. It's a British word meaning like, uh, like someone really into it. Uh, someone like a, a real geek uh, that even us Linux boffins are able to partake in the fun. Tell e prompters allow you to allow you to get past the mental headache of trying to improvise your script while you're also fiddling with an endless array of controls in OBS Studio. Now this is just like random stuff I've just created for the for just to demonstrate how this is gonna work. So um, you can change the font size, you can change the line height, you can change at the, that's the font size in M. Um, you can add elements to it like basic formatting elements, you can add an image as they showed, or you can edit this in HTML. So you can do all these things. The only thing I would really ever want in a teleprompter is just to prompt it. Now, in the uh, settings menu, there are a few things that might be more interesting for people. Um, firstly, you have the, you can do, you can use it in mirror mode, horizontal flip. I'm gonna go for no flip, but if you are using actual teleprompter hardware, uh, you might want to do that. You can adjust the speed here as well as using the arrows. Um, and the prompt you style, this is, this is good. This is set by default to blackboard you can also go for whiteboard if you prefer uh, black on white. And I haven't looked at these. This is classic yellow. And you can do a custom one if you wanna say what color you want your the, the background to be and the text to be, right? I'm just gonna stick with blackboard. Uh, you can update the width. I'm gonna keep it where it was, a little bit more narrow. And this feature is really useful. You can use the timer as well. So I'm gonna do that with and without. Now when I click on prompt it, I'm just using the arrow key now on my keyboard to edit the speed and to go backwards. So now I'm going backwards through my script and now I'm just gonna go forwards. And every time I press down arrow, now this is obviously way too slow, but if I press down arrow again, it gets quicker, quicker, quicker. Hi, this is Daniel. Rather than, random, rather than randomly thinking what to say, I've decided to start using a teleprompter. Teleprompters are great. And what's even greater is that even as Linux boffins are able to partake in the fun. Teleprompters allow you to get past the mental headache of trying to improvise your script while you're also fiddling with an endless array of controls in OBS Studio. So that was my, uh, that was my quick teleprompting attempt and that was how it looked up on my screen. So it worked pretty nicely. Let me also, um, now obviously I need, I need practice and there's lots of these settings I could play around with, putting it a little bit further up. Um, let me just try the timer functionality. I'm gonna put timer mode to on. 
And now you can see we've got, I'm just gonna move myself up here a little bit. Now we've got a timer overlaid on the screen so we can see how long the segment's lasting. Hi, this is Daniel. Rather than randomly thinking what to say, I've decided to start using a teleprompter. Teleprompters are great, and what's even greater is that even us Linux boffins are able to partake in the fun. Teleprompters allow you to get past the mental headache of trying to improvise your script while you're also fiddling with an endless array of controls in OBS Studio. All right, I think that's good enough for a sample of my uh, of my limited teleprompting abilities. So that's it. That was um, imaginary teleprompter in OBS Studio in uh, Ubuntu Linux. Um, a pretty good. I mean, for my needs, I can't think of anything more I would require from a teleprompter than what it has. Really useful if you're doing something that you need to stick to a script with, whether that's a video video blog for your business, a video blog for yourself, or uh, you know something like a video resume that you want to make sure you hit on all the points. Now sometimes, last thing I will say is something I do use for some videos is I'll type up like show notes and just have those open on a mouse pad and I put that somewhere beneath my webcam layer so it can't be seen. But uh, there are definitely videos where I'm going to be using the teleprompter and imaginary teleprompter looks to me like a pretty good tool for Ubuntu. If you've enjoyed this video and like to get more videos from me about everything to do with Ubuntu, Linux, marketing and technology, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and thank you very much for watching.